Hi guys, this is AC Game more back with a new video. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another brand new character that will be coming out in the future. Now, this is an ongoing series where I've looked at future characters coming into the game and I have made a skills and gameplay video on them. So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you skills and gameplay for a future character known as Yumi or something like that. Um, there should be a picture up in front of you guys now so you know who she is now you are you can't really see her in the game if you face her in certain modes or certain gameplay I'm not really too sure which which stages she is in but I do know for a fact you can fight her currently um, let's see if I can find her before I go and showcase her uh, no can't find her but she's somewhere in the game somewhere um yeah so let's take a look at her skills and gameplay and she will be in the next battle pass coming out um season two so when this ends she will be coming out in a battle pass and i do believe you can get copies of her for free uh they do decide to change how the battle pass works um i will be making a later video when the battle pass does come but i have seen a preview on how the battle pass have changed and you can get copies on here i, I believe uh, and I believe it's much more better than the one we have right now. But yeah, we'll see about that. Anyway, let's take a look at her skills and gameplay. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and make content on Illusion, connect to Kantari, and help me get to 2k subscribers. It's a brand new goal. Uh, let's let let's make our community grow further. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So Yumi is an attack class. Uh, she has an energy cost of 16. Uh, attack range is single enemy. I uh, don't really like that. Uh, combat passive she decreases the rage recovery rate of enemies by 20% when she's on the floor and increases armor pierce by 25% so so she has a pretty good passive um, not really bad um, how long how often does she decrease the rage though if it's just once then I'm, I'm not really liking that but if if it's as long as she's on the floor then and then she re removes people's rage then I definitely do like that um also increases armor piercing by 25 percent which is pretty nice um is it only up to herself or to allies though um anyways normal skill deal 105 percent damage to a single enemy the usual uh special skill deal 165 percent damage to a single enemy uh don't really like that it's also another single damage attack a uh, unique skill deal 420% damage to a single enemy and steals 200, 200 rage from the target. If the target has no rage, the target is stunned for a round. Uh, most likely the target do have rage, so she's just going to be stealing rage. 200 rage isn't that much, I don't think. I believe uh, Miyuki um, takes more. So I don't see her as being very, like, very meta changing, but she is okay. Um... Let's take a look at her gameplay so we get a better look on how she is. Now, based off of what I can see, she costs 16, so I'm not really going to say she's a must-have unit. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at her gameplay. So yeah, that was the gameplay for Yumi. Now she is, like I said, going to be in a battle pass. Now, based on her skills and not on whatnot, um, you guys might decide whether or not you want to go for the battle pass when he does come. I'm not really too sure if I want to go for the battle pass uh, or buy it because I do have enough saved up enough of this. So if I wanted to get one copy of her, I do believe I can get it. Um, so yeah, I'm not really too sure. And I do believe you can get her for free from the. I don't know how they changed the battle pass, but I do know they changed it. So I need to take a further look into the battle pass to see if you can get her for free. If you can get her for free, I wouldn't pay for the battle pass. But um, yeah, I do see her as being okay. Um, you can see her in the game, so you can take a better look and better look on her there. But yeah, only good. She's only a single damage dealer, not really that good. Anyway, in the next video, I'm going to be taking a look at the collab unit for Zombie Land Saga. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, make sure you're subscribed so we can reach 2k subscribers now um yeah it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like the video subscribe and i'm out